my name is Malcolm. I'm just going to do a short video on how best to disinfect your Canon printer. First of all, what do you need for this? Um, you need disposable gloves, first of all. Secondly, you need a cleaning solution with a minimum content of 60% alcohol. Okay? Thirdly, you'll need a lint-free microfiber cloth. So first step really is to power down the machine. To do that, most machines will have the switch in a similar position to this. It's on the front of the machine. Yours might be different, but every machine will have a switch like this. So just power down the machine at the switch. The machine will go into a shutdown process. You see the green light flashing here. The screen has changed. Plug the machine at the socket in the wall. Okay, so behind the machine. Plug the printer out. First thing, by no means do you spray the cleaning solution directly onto the machine. This is very important. You must spray onto the cloth firstly. Okay, like so. Okay, so we're going to start with the screen. Okay, so again, let's spray my cloth. And I'm going to give the, the machine a gentle wipe. You don't need to apply pressure when you're doing this. Okay, so back, forward. Next, we're going to clean the document feeder. Document feeder is on top of the machine where you put your documents in. Okay, so we will clean the area where you place the paper, the paper down that's going to be either copied or scanned first. Again, a, little, a small spray on the cloth, and we'll start cleaning here. Now, this area has some small sensors built into it, so be careful. Again, no pressure, very light wipes, like so, and be sure not to break the sensors. Okay, very important. Secondly, you have a, a handle here that if you get a jam in the feeder, you would have to open this handle, like so, to release your paper. We give that handle a clean the hole. Short, small spray. Next, we will do the paper cassettes. You only open them when you need to either change the paper that's in there or if the machine has run out of paper. On the outside here, you can see the handles where you would make physical contact to pull over the tray like so. And inside also, there is paper cassette uh, sensors, which you adjust if you've changed the paper tray, the size of the paper tray, or maybe just refill it. So, start on the outside. Small spray in the cloth. The handles are wipe. Wipe around there. Open the tray. Again, small spray in the cloth. I'm gonna get the sensors, the touch points on the sensors. A quick wipe. Make sure that you put the sensors back into their original position. Close the tray. Next, we'll do the exit, exit point for your prints on the machine, because people will also make contact with that. Spray the cloth, and just give a nice little wipe in around there as well. Also, some people would use the stack bypass tray, the multi-purpose tray, here on the side of the machine. And if you're using this, you should also wipe that area also. Simply open the tray, spray in the cloth, Again, this tray has sensors on it, be careful. Nice and gently, no pressure. Clean it around there. Lift the tray up, and obviously the, the handle point on the tray for opening and closing. Give that a wipe. Uh, by no means do you want to go start cleaning internally around drums or anything like that in the machine or where the toners go. Our engineers do that when they come out. The next step would be to power up your machine and make sure your machine is working properly. Shouldn't be any problem, but let's go ahead and do that. Start, we start by plugging the machine back into the socket on the wall. Make sure the socket is on. Then we go to the main on and off, the mains power switch on the front of the machine. So power that back up. Machine will go through a startup process. It'll take a couple of seconds. There we go, the icons are starting to appear on the screen. No error messages or lights flashing, anything like that. So uh, look, it looks good. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay safe.